Hello everybody. Today I'm going to teach you how to play the Korean version of Wooparoo Land. Now for those of you who don't know, um, Wooparoo Mountain has gone out of business, but there are still two versions you can play. Um, it's just a little complicated how you have to do it. So there's the Wooparoo Land that's available for several Asian countries, and then there's specifically a Korean Wooparoo Land game. Now, the Korean version is quite different from the old Wooparoo Mountain. The other version, which is for other countries in Asia except for Korea, or maybe Korean people can play both, um, that other version is pretty much exactly the same thing as the Wooparoo Mountain was. Unfortunately, you can't transfer your old data you just have to start over, which is annoying because several of us were very high level and had a lot of cool stuff and spent a fair amount of money, but you, you know, that's, that happens, I guess. Um, the game that is only available in Korea, or maybe it's only supposed to be available in Korea, has a couple of steps you have to take first. So the very first thing you have to do is have some kind of Android device. I do not. I have a PC and an iPhone. So what I am using is an Android emulator called BlueStacks. Now in some of these I'm going to tell you what to do but I'm not going to do it myself because I don't um, I already have some of these programs so I'm not going to reinstall them. Now BlueStacks is free but they do kind of pester you for donations. It's $24 for a whole year. I went ahead and paid it because I figure it's freeware and it's always nice to give money to freeware that you use. Um, it says play apps on PC and Mac, so I'm assuming you can do it for Mac. I don't see a link to do it anywhere, but maybe it auto detects your device. So if you have a PC, you click this. And it says, thanks for downloading, and I'm not really going to download it. And when it finishes, of course, you'll click it. Um, it'll install. Be careful when you install it, because I don't remember if BlueStacks does this, but a lot of programs do. Um, when you're installing things, it will try to install other things, like search bars and little antivirus programs. Those are just spam. But that does tend to be a problem with freeware, so just be careful. And when you finish, I had it create a desktop icon because I like to do that. You don't have to create the icon, but I recommend that you do. You'll get this little icon. Well, actually... I don't know why. There, there's actually about another inch of screen left, but this screen cap software doesn't let you get any bigger than it is. So I guess I'll just leave it like this. Okay, the next thing you have to do is get an app called One Mobile Market. And I don't see it here at all. The reason you have to get one mobile market is because unless you are in Korea, you can't download the game. Um, I'm not sure why or how it's set up that way, but you, you have to either be in Asia or use a special store. So what we're going to do instead is go to the browser and try to find it there. I think you can get it from Google Play. And the browser within BlueStacks is always slow. I don't know why. Yes, okay. 
I'm getting a notification from Korean Wooper Mountain. I have no clue what it says, by the way. I don't speak Korean. I don't understand Korean. But the Korean game is really cute, so I play it. So anyway. So you go to one mobile market and you download it. And when you do that, you'll get this little icon up here. But it doesn't seem to give you an icon here, which is weird. Um, I tried a different thing called Market Unlocker. That didn't work. I tried a fake GPS to try to trick it into thinking I was in China or somewhere um, for the other version, and that didn't work. So it seems that one mobile market is the way to go. So after you've downloaded that, the next thing you want to do is go to this website and the easiest way to get there without just typing it out, I mean it's not that hard to type out, but the easiest way it is to go to, um, if you can't remember this or you're too lazy, Okay, maybe that was a bad idea. <laughs> Trying to make it easier for you guys, and I'm just making it more complicated. Just go to toast.com. And somewhere we find the all games thingy. And we find Wooparoo Mountain for Cacao. So you click this to download it. And it'll take you to this page. And here, instead of uninstall or open, it will say install. So you'll hit install. When that's done, you'll see this little icon. And by the way, um, when you hit install, there will probably be a little pop-up here asking you if you want to use One Mobile Market or Google Play or something else. Make sure you use One Mobile Market because if you use Google Play, it might not work. Um, I know it's from Google Play, but just trust me on this because I tried it and it didn't work. And this whole process is very complicated. What is this lady with boobs down here? Mm. Oh, good. <laughs> On a children's game, they have an ad for a porn site. That's just lovely. Anyway, so you install this game from here. When that's done, you have one more app to install. Um, I'll explain this little thing later. The next thing you have to install is called Cacao. And it's spelled like that. I've already installed it and I've already signed up for an account. You have to sign up for an account, um, otherwise you can't play. You might be able to play on a guest account, but I think you can't do everything that's on the game. So you'll sign up for the Cacao account, you'll give it your email, you have to verify your email, and then you can go back. This is the other version. This isn't the version that we're installing now, or pretending to install. And you'll find this. Now I'm only using the microphone, so the sounds on the game are probably going to sound kind of crappy. Actually, I probably sound kind of crappy because this <laughs> webcam and this mic that comes with this computer sucks.
And as I said, this is very slow. Now, I, the first time you log in, since I've already done this, I don't have to do it. The first time you open the app, it's going to take a lot longer. And it will ask you to sign in with your Kakao account. So just make sure that you allow it to do that. So the Korean version is quite different. Oh, I got an email. Those are among the other five or six people who speak English who play this game, <laughs> which is another reason it's hard. So this all looks basically the same, right? Um, unfortunately, in this version, you may not have seen this um, stone before, and that goes to this creature here, if you're curious. I have no idea what it's called, but it's cute. But there are a bunch of creatures in this one that you don't get in the other version. Um, unfortunately, there is no way to change the language. This is, um, I think, the sound effects sound, um, volume, music volume. These are all different kinds of notifications. I have no idea what they say. This is your ID number. I don't know what either of those buttons does, so I'm not going to push them. Um, I've pushed all of these buttons, and none of them are language setting, because as I said, this is created only for Korean users. So, unfortunately, you just kind of have to try to figure it out. But if you played the other game, most things are the same. So, some of the differences are, you have different kinds of gems. I have no idea how you get them and what they are, but that's what <laughs> is there, so I thought I'd show it to you. If anyone speaks Korean, Feel free to leave a comment or tell us how to play or something. Um, you also have a guild that you can join, but I have no idea how you join it. All I know is if you press guild, um, I'm guessing that you can pick a guild to join from the list. Um, I tried to join one, but it asks you questions in Korean, and <laughs> I have... I'm guessing, my, my guess, just from other games i played, my guess is that this is some kind of requirements. And here you have to type something, and that's how you send it. Um, I, I tried typing before, but I didn't get accepted, so um, uh, whatever. This is another creature that we don't have. In the original version. Uh, what I mean. okay, shop. There are all kinds of cute things that you can't get in the other version. They were never in Wooparoo Mountain, and they're not in other version of Wooparoo Land. I will make a video to show you how to play that one too. But like, look at all this cute stuff. There's a lot of um, cute little buffa scenes. Like these. None of these were available in Wupu Round. And so far, none of them are available in the other version, but they might become available. So we'll see. I'm not very high level on this one yet because I just got it not that long ago. So I can't even see a lot of this stuff. But as you can see, there are different elements. I can't see any of these creatures because I'm not high level enough. But there are lots of really cool looking creatures that we don't have in the other version that we never had in Wooparoo Mountain. None of these guys, all four of these were not in either of the other versions. This one is available in the other version, but was never in Wooparoo Mountain. Same with this one. And again, because I'm low level, we can't see a whole lot. 